What is going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? Welcome to this. Can't really call it an unboxing, uh, but it's uh, it's on beside. And, um, I know in the past I did a, a video on the Compendium number one. Well, this is obviously Compendium number two. And I just wanted to go through that uh, a little bit. So let's just zoom in slightly. Um, Again, same lovely hardback cover, about the same size as a, you know your average codex, or just a little bit smaller. Maybe like the Tyranid, the old Tyranid codex, about that sort of size. Um, but don't worry, nowhere near as expensive. <laughs> uh, so yeah, and what's interesting is you've got um, the characters been different. Well, different. Well, some of them have different outfits, or you know. So this here is Wanda, believe it or not. It is Wanda. She's obviously, she's got rid of her um, kind of serving uh, uniform from wherever she would have worked. Well, it's she's got jeans and a shirt on now, so much better equipped to deal with zombie apocalypse. <laughs> uh, Doug, he's got some sort of, um, looks like a, bulletproof vest or survival jacket or something on there uh, that is um, oh, I forget his name him anyway <laughs> Amy oh, she's got trousers on as well now and some gun clips can't see her sword but uh, you know might still have it Phil's looking a bit the worse for wear yeah, he's still got his um, uniform but it's you know not as good a condition. Um, I forget the names, I haven't played it in so long. Ned. Ned. Oh, Josh, that's Josh. And Ned, he's got some like dungaree looking things on there, but I guess you've got to get what you can find in a zombie apocalypse, right? Um, so it's, it's similar to the other one. Um, so it's got missions. Um, Missions, campaigns, and designer secrets for Zombicide Season 1, 2, and 3. Whereas, Compendium 1 was Missions, Campaigns, and Designer Secrets for Zombicide Season 1. So, this one's got 2 and 3 in it as well. And, as it says here, the book also features the rules of the following expansions gathered in one place. Dog Companions, Lost Zombivores, Murder of Crows, Ultimate Survivors, VIP Zombies, and Zombie Dogs. Uh, so, I would say, I would suggest, handy, if you're thinking of expanding your zombie side and getting, say, the crows or dogs, whatever, you, but you don't want to buy the um, actual ones, and you can get them cheaper somewhere, then, you know, as long as you got this, you'll have the rules for them. So, open it up, you've got a lovely... I love the artwork in here. The artwork is what drew me to Zombicide uh, initially, amongst all the other stuff, so having it being zombies and things. Beautiful artwork, it's just gorgeous. Full colour, lovely, very high quality, you can tell that. Got a table of contents, uh, an absolute boatload of missions, tons of them, and then yeah, there's your rules for. Right, we'll, we'll just flick through gradually. So, got missions here, which is easier to put. And it's glad, good to see the uh, um, using the rice and the food, which I've been doing in homebrew uh, scenarios for some time now, uh, making use of the food. Uh, Like these baseball bats with the nails in. It's kind of reminiscent of uh, Lucille's barbed wire, isn't it? But uh, hey, this is Zombicide. It's been around. It's been around the block for a few times now. So, looking like the layout is the same as, you know, the same format of how they do the other missions. There's absolutely loads of missions in here. I mean, just look at it. It's absolutely crazy. <clears throat> That's a good one. Yeah, I like the look of that. Arson, cornered by, by flames. 
Is that a hard one or or what? Yeah, I'll say somewhere anyway. Arts with room org. Well, I don't have room org yet, so that's missions for that which I just don't have, so I won't have the tiles for that art either. Uh, fireworks, where it all began. Yeah, it's looking good. So, like I say, um, the, it was the artwork which drew me to Zombicide. It's got a unique artwork about it. Um, it's just something about it which is instantly recognisable for me. Wow, some big, we've got some big missions here. Some long games. <laughs> See, there's artwork like this, there's some kind of nurse there, which is cool. I like that. <laughs> yeah, Zombicide is, is one of the, the, the best solo games I've ever played. Well, it's not a solo game, but it's got the best one of the best solo modes I've ever I've ever seen. Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Yeah, so that's, that's a hard mission. See you got it's the same format as it always tells you hard, medium or easy, how many survivors you need to four plus and the average number of time uh, amount of time it will take to probably complete the game. 120 minutes, so two hours to do that one. That's if you survive, of course. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah. liking it, liking it a lot. Walk the, walk in the dog park. So this is good. How they're using um, like the other models and rules. It's, it's long overdue for this compendium, and I'm glad I picked it up. Look, it's just loads of missions. I mean, I enjoy making up my own, but I mean, it's just great to have one that you can just pull out a book, set it up as as according to the to the map, and off you go. Yeah, look at that. That's brilliant. That is amazing. Um, it looks like the special rules. Yep. Special rules. Excellent. <clears throat> For each one, you got your objectives. Yeah. So, this is money well spent for me because I love my Zombicide. As you know. <laughs> Santa hunting. I mean, just this is just great artwork. I love it. <laughs> and then you've got your rules for dog companions. You've got your rules for lost zombivores. I, mean, I haven't got that set. Yeah, but you know, uh, murder of crows. They they are by far the the most terrifying uh, thing in it for me. I I hate the crows more than I do the abominations. Ultimate survivors. See, I don't have these sets yet. Loving the the new look wonder though. I do like that. Hope there's a model for it. If not, make my own. Well, the VIPs there. This is loads of stuff I have to get. And the zombie dogs. They've uh, got their own rules as well. And the mission index. And yeah. What a well set out game. And your turn summary, of course. All in this lovely, jovely book. So that, together with my compendium one I think that's brilliant now this gives me hope um, that there'll be a compendium free and they'll be doing further 
expansions for the Zombicide universe. I, I do hope so. Uh, for a while I thought it was all going down the um, uh, the Black Plague route and you know, uh, I was like meh. But then I, I, then I just happened to come across this and I thought, ooh yes, this will keep me going for a while. And as you can see, I'm sure you'll agree, it probably will. But there it is, that's Zombicide um, Compendium 2. Uh, now for this book costs me £16 in my local gaming store. One six. So that's, that's okay by my book. <laughs> and I'm more than happy to pay that for it um, and if nothing else it's just some great artwork to put on the shelf and look at every so often but it will get good use because as you may know <coughs> if you've followed me a while I obviously have Zombicide, I have Toxic City 1 and I have Prison Outbreak so I've got quite a bit more to go through uh, yet but um, yeah so lots more to come I guess um, you know I've also got The Walking Dead which I'm getting into now which is cool and a lot of the stuff uh, looks like it could be interchangeable with Zombicide particularly the scenery packs and things like that so I should be looking to use that to bolster my uh, scenery for Zombicide and probably create more scenery for Zombicide make it more 3D I know people have made some amazing 3d boards but uh, but that's getting off topic this is the book uh, the companion 2 so really happy with this one loving it um, looks amazing so that's what you get for your money anyway so thanks for joining me on this well I'll call it an unboxing it was actually an um, packaging but once I took it out of its ziplock cellophane we'll call it an unboxing shall we I'll put it in the unboxing section. So thanks for watching. Remember all brushes lead to war and bye for now.